Well, welcome to Whiskey Fireside Chat number nine. It's been a while, uh, it's been a week, sorry. I've uh, been busy doing all the shows on um, presentations of the outdoor shows and stuff like that. Man, it is nice to have a Saturday off. I haven't had a Saturday off for over a month. I didn't know what to do with myself. Uh, I, I did the laundry, I washed the dishes, um, I fixed up my, uh, my sunroom, put all my paddles up, I cleaned some gear, sharpened axes. My daughter, she's down at the water. Uh, in her little woody area, her little secret spot, she calls it, and then she's sketching the lake. Remember that, doing that when you were a kid? I did that. I was a, I was a nerdy kid that did that in the woods. That's why I like being in the woods. The lake is ice free. Woo! Paddling season is upon us. I'm enjoying a nice uh, bottle of bourbon. This is um, it's a Woodland Reserve, and it was given to me by a very, very nice woman at the Quiet Water Symposium. Look what someone gave me. She said she liked her whiskey, uh, the whiskey chess, and here's my next whiskey on that. Wow! That was about three weeks ago, so I'm almost done. I don't know, I hang around looking at maps, wondering where to go, looking at the North Shore of Lake Nipigon, uh, Gonquin for sure, Lake, uh, um, you know, Tomogamy River maybe, maybe Missinabi River, I'm not sure. Playing drums, just playing drums, why not? I play drums on a Saturday afternoon. <laughs> Burn. I'm also looking at some of the gear that I bought, oh gosh, gosh, a couple months ago. I ordered some stuff online and I'm all excited about using it. But here's one, uh, BioLite. BioLite, they're the ones that made that six stove. It's kind of cool. This is a BioLite solar panel plus five. I'm not sure why it's called plus five, but I do know the one that's not called plus five doesn't have the battery in the back. So it's a solar panel. I got lots of solar panels. I've used lots of them over the, over the time. Why did I get this one? Well, it's wafer thin. It also um, has this thing that goes 360, so you can put it on the ground and angle it to the sun, hang it in a tree. It's got these little holes here where you can put a grommet on, attach it on your pack. Um, a few weeks ago, I actually put it on top of my, what's called, what's called, what's called, uh, freight toboggan, and, and, and it worked for that. It doesn't work. Okay, well, it works the way it says it does, so that's good. Um, this uh, battery in the back here holds five watts of energy, I think. So basically what that means is I can plug my iPhone in and it will fully charge the iPhone after two hours of sunlight. My iPad, uh, eh, not so much, 25%. It's got the USB port out and connector for in. So it's got both of those. Do you really need this? Uh, if you're going on a five day trip, four day trip, maybe not. You, you have enough battery for your GPS, that's good. If you take your cameras out like I do, you need something. Because <laughs> if, uh, if you bring a lot of batteries, that's a lot of weight. And if you buy a lot of batteries, that's a lot of money. So it is best to have some type of solar system for it. And just even if you had it at home, to be quite honest, um, uh, just to charge your, your phone out in the, the, on the deck. That's, that's kind of cool. Mind you, that's because I got nothing else to do. Um, <laughs> it's a Saturday. And you ever have one of those Saturdays off where you haven't had a Saturday off for a while and you just don't know what to do yourself with yourself? It's like, it's weird. What I really like about this is that the light goes on here and you can watch the light uh, being full or not. So you know if you're getting full power of sun. What's even better than that, it's gimmicky to me, but it's not, is the bullseye. So it's got a sundial that acts like a bullseye. So basically there's a black dot and the shadow of the black dot has to be right in the middle of the bullseye and that means you're getting full sunlight. And if not, you move it until you do. All the other so uh, uh, solar panels I had didn't do that. And you might think, well, does that really matter? Well, it does because you can tell when you, that's on the bullseye, these lights light, light right up so you get full power. Does not work on a cloudy day, that makes sense. Well, it doesn't work that well on a cloudy day. I find it really needs to be sunny for this. Um, that makes sense as a solar panel. <laughs> I, I, I will charge it at home uh, from the wall socket and it takes just as much time as my, my iPad or uh, iPhone charger from the wall. So that's pretty cool. I don't know, lightweight, water resistant, not waterproof, but really haven't tested that yet. I'm not going to dunk it in the toilet. Uh, <laughs> so I'll see my next trip. Really excited about going canoeing soon. I can't go canoeing until the beginning of May because I'm teaching those students at risk until then. I'm taking them out, but uh, I'm not going out with my buddies until then. We're going to Algonquin, catching some brook trout, and then uh, Mr. Baxter and I will be going to the far north once again, 
and my daughter and I are planning a big expedition and I uh, hope she gets back soon from her secret little spot sketching the lake. I'm so excited the ice is out. Woohoo. And uh, good bourbon. So cheers, whiskey fireside shot number nine. It's nice to have a Saturday afternoon off.